What's up, y'all? It's your girl ZZ back with another mother. I love you, babe. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on my notifications bell, get a join a thumbs up, share this mug, all that, all that, all that. You feel me? So today's video is going to be another reaction. Now, um, I'm not gonna say too much, I'll just let the video speak for itself. But it's this young lady, mixed mixed lady, um, who is trying to communicate to her mother that she's uncomfortable with her usage of the word the N-word. Okay. So um I enough said, like I said, I'm gonna let the video speak for itself, but let's let's get into it. But you're white and you say the N-word. I'm just telling you not to say it. That's it. Well, I'm not gonna have my child tell me what I can and can't do. Sorry, it don't work that way in my life. No, I was raised. Yeah, that's the thing. You were raised differently. This is a new generation. You can't, I'm just saying, you can't say that. I'm telling you, you can't live here. So how about that? Okay, Um. so just off the rip, y'all know I'm that full interracial dating. <laughs> um, I've talked about that before. It's pretty clear for those of you who are, you know, who've been on my channel. But this is one of the reasons why I think a lot of black people forget or non-white people forget that when you marry uh, white people, their racism doesn't go anywhere. OK, just because you're marrying a white person does not mean that they're not white. Just because you haven't I mean, they're not racist. Just because you have sex with a white person does not mean that you're not racist. That anti-blackness is instilled with the, in, in them from a very young age. OK, shout out to Nelly Fuller. He said in his book. Um, I believe at the age of 15 that most white people understand the system of white supremacy. So even with this uh, white woman who, let's say she grew up in a black neighborhood, let's say she had a lot of black friends, she was in a black man, and you know, now she's here, that's why she has this mixed daughter. She was still taught anti-black racism and white supremacy. And that could be why the mother and father aren't together now. You know, that could be part of the reason why. But that is definitely why this young lady is starting to speak up on that now. Because as a mixed young woman, although she may have had some sort of privilege with her being mixed and being light-skinned, looking a little bit more ambiguous, she still, even in white spaces, considered the black girl. And so having that white mother, she's probably her whole life been able to compare and contrast their experiences, especially when you're talking about the uses of the N word from friends, you know, noticing her mother saying it and feeling uncomfortable, whether that was from her black side of her family, kind of letting her, letting her know that that wasn't okay for her mother to be doing that, whatever the case may be, or if that was just from societal her just being out and about and noticing how different people react to that, you know, and just seeing how that internally affects her consciously now she's you know wanting to check that besides that i think also a lot of us forget that modern women a, a lot of modern women women i talk about black black women modern black modern women a lot but even just modern women in general when you're talking about westernized american <laughs> modern women a lot of them have a lot of the same issues narcissism being one of them so you see even though she's trying to check her about something that should be so obviously you know, understood, you know, or at least respected at the very least, even if she can't understand it, she should at least be able to easily respect this coming from her mixed child. There's still that narcissism there where it's like, well, this is my house. My child ain't going, my child ain't going to tell me what to do. Even when she's righteous in trying to check her, it's still like, well, now nah, you my daughter, you can't tell me that. That's a problem I don't think a lot of black people think about when they're dating out is that you might still be dealing with some of the some of the same or similar issues with black that you have with black women with white or other non-black women, but you're also going to have that anti-black racist, you know, cherry on top to add on to it. You tell me I can't say something. You're I tell being you can't live here. you're being over dramatic. No, I'm tired of being disrespected by you. I'm not disrespecting you by telling you as a mixed person telling a white person you can't say that. You that lets me know you don't have any fucking love for me, Asia, or you wouldn't feel that way. About me saying that. What? You wouldn't feel that way at all. I don't have any love for you because I don't want white want my white mother to say the N word. You are picking me out. You are you are Oh and you know what I, I feel for the sister here because I can see it. I can hear it in her voice. I can see it in her eyes, the hurt and the pain that she's receiving from this. Um, I can't even imagine, you know, thank God, Lord, it's a blessing that both my parents are black Americans, fully black, we love to see it. And so I've never had to deal with this particular issue, but I have met other mixed kids, you know, with the with with similar issues, you know, whether that's uh, racial identity issues, they feel like they're too black for the uh, to the white for the white kids, too white for the black kids, whatever the case may be, they have racial identity issues. 
So that's why even like right here when she's saying like, oh, well, you wouldn't love me. You don't love me just for, just for saying that. I can just tell you don't love me. Just It's like, girl, honestly, if she ain't love you, she wouldn't say nothing. It would just cut your ass off. If we being real, she has the right, even if she do love you, to just stop messing with you because she sees the anti-black racism within you. So the fact that she's even trying to take the time to sit here and explain this to you in such a po really a polite manner where it's like, damn, you know, and this looks like this conversation. This looks like we're coming in in the middle of the conversation where she probably started to record because she was in disbelief of the response she was getting from her mother. But the fact that she's taking the time out to try to explain to her how this is hurting her and why she should just not be saying it show show proves enough, okay, that she cares about her. Because that's her mother. She still, she grew up with this lady, regardless of the anti-black racism, racism or not. She grew up with this woman. You know, this is the only mother that she knows. So of course, she a part of her is still want to want that relationship. She's still going to want to be close to her, be attached to her mother, regardless of even the racial aspects. A racial program against me, white. That white person can't say that. No white person can say it. Not just fucking you. Just tell your dad that you're moving in. Just no. Moving. Yeah, or then you need to get find somewhere to go. Because I don't want you here. I'm being kicked out because... Yep. I'm racist. No, not. You said a racial slur. She is racist, babe. She is. She is. Um, and I believe the father is probably black, non-white. Um, I don't know if she has a close relationship with her father. And that's another thing, you know, with these mixed children, a lot of them can have misconstrued uh ide uh, uh ideals or like uh perceptions of their fathers because their white mothers you know it's like again that anti-black racism comes out so yeah with the black mother we you know we got the uh the black mothers who are you know who try to pin their children against their father on some narcissistic shit because they, they don't have a relationship with the father like they used to and now they trying to turn the kids against them okay However, you do, again, like I said, you still see these same or similar problems outside of our community where, but on top of it, you have an anti, you have a racial aspect that goes with it. So even with this young mixed lady, even with her checking her mother about this, she might still have some internalized anti-blackness within her that goes against her father. That's why she said, well, no, because you would think the first thing she say is, you know, you want me to move out because I'm what? Okay, uh, all right, I'm gone. Like, what the fuck? I'd rather go live with my, my damn black ass family who actually can say it, okay? Who I feel comfortable around saying it, then live with your white ass. Like, I'm good. So, the fact that she's, you know, and I still give her leeway too because, like I said, that is her mother. She might have been close to her mom, you know, before this situation or before she came into a consciousness of, you know, racism and white supremacy, you know? So, like, she may have not just noticed certain things growing up until this point. But yeah, you know, that's kind of telling though. She might not have the, the best relationship with her father, maybe, you know, but that is a problem I've seen with a lot of mixed children as well is that disconnect from their fathers because the mothers, you know, separate them. No matter if you said it with an A or an ER, racial slur. So that's it. I mean, kicked out. You're an adult. You can find your own place. You got a job. Do you still think you're blacker than me? I'll always be blacker than you. Really? Yeah. Mm, and see, that's another thing. Goes back to what I was saying about the disconnect with the fathers. A lot of time you see that with mixed children is because especially when you have white women like this, who's the probably probably the ratchet ghetto one type, you know what I'm saying? Uh, type of white woman who, who hang around a lot of black women or black people and thinks she got some credentials of blackness, okay? Because she's had that and she knows some slang terms and she could maybe she could dance or she dressed a certain way, whatever the case may be. She's been indulged in black culture. That's a problem, you know, that a lot of our mixed brothers and sisters got to deal with because now they're getting a misconstrued version of what blackness is. They're being taught that, oh, if you don't act like this, if you ain't, if you ain't da 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 then, you, then you're not black. You know, when that really comes down to your genetics, baby, she could never be blacker than you. She could never be blacker than you. Now, of course, I do also believe in the psychological blackness, but you think black being black first. Okay, we'd be one over here. Um, but that's also a part of that program is that her mother is not no damn B1, obviously. She's not black. She can't be black first because she's not black, okay? 
Um, but even if she were a little more conscious or she was against the system of white supremacy and wanted to replace the system of white supremacy with the system of justice, it would be a little bit of a different story. But obviously, she's very ignorant, like most of these white women tend to be who date interracially. Just teach their daughters or their sons, their black children, about blackness through their lens of whiteness. And it's not the same. You're still coming through a lens of whiteness, babe. And so you even have a... Uh, uh, you have a uh, misinterpreted version of blackness within yourself because you're going through an anti-black lens. As I could imagine that hurt and how confusing that may even be, have been as a child growing up. Because you, this ain't her first time probably saying she might have joked about it growing up. But she was, girl, I'm blacker than you. Baby, you are you are black. Okay. And, you know, again, if she's that close to her father, she never really got to get that clarification from their black side of her family. So it's outrageous, man. Egregious. You're the whitest black person I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. The whitest black person I know. Egregious. Wow. She said, you're the whitest black person I know. Yeah, you see, you grow up hearing stuff like that from your parent. I mean, I could imagine the psychological damage that does to you, how that, you know, mixes up your racial identity, how that confuses you about your racial identity and where you are, where you stand, where your allegiance really stands when it comes to race. So, yeah, man, uh, this is just another danger, another... Another damn reason why I'm against interracial dating, man. This is another warning for any brothers or sisters who are contemplating dating out because this is a serious and very real concern and possibility that your child may go through. And specifically for the brothers, because I've said this before, like I understand the state of our women. We are so out of order. Outrage degrees and everything between. I talk about it damn near every other video. <laughs> So I understand, brothers, why a lot of y'all, or some of y'all, I don't even know a lot of y'all, for the most part, y'all still dating it. Okay, let's just be real. But for the for the minority of you who are choosing to date our date out, um, and not coming from a net a necessarily like anti-black state, but more so just like, damn, I'm this shit getting exhausting. Like, yeah, I'm going out the sister after sister after sister, and it's always something, very much something, okay. Um, I can understand your frustration, I can understand your, you know, uh readiness to just be like fuck it this little becky girl is on my line you know i keep going to work and she bringing me damn food and she on my line and she want to do this with me or the little hispanic chick I, I can understand your frustration brother but also you do have to realize you know especially if you be one that this is this is a real possibility and this is going to be something very hard to combat even with you being their father, because the mother is the first teacher. The mother is the first one that she's really influenced by. OK, so regardless, even if it's again, even if it's a white woman who's against anti-black racism, who's against the system of white supremacy and for replacing it with the system of justice, even those white women still have this. This. uh this programming of anti-black racism within them, even if it's in indirect, they may not be the person who's going around saying the N-word. They may not be the, the white woman who's snapping her fingers and rolling her neck or whatever and think that she's a little blacker than her daughter or other black women, you know, because she's been indulged in our culture. Even if she's not like that, you know, she could be the, the sweetest white woman you've ever met, you know, the most non-racist white person you ever, you think you've ever met and still instills forms of anti-black racism within your child, okay? Just because that has been passed on throughout her lineages. So yeah, definitely a major concern, but y'all let me know what y'all think uh, in the comments below. Are you a mixed child? Have you experienced this with your white mother or your white father? Um, If you're black, is this a reason why you wouldn't interracially date? Or is this, how would you try to combat this if you did date somebody who was white and you had a mixed child who was going through something similar? Other than that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, maybe that's all I got. All right, y'all. We do not play by our green. You fuck with the team. Might find your West in the creek. We're crossing our teams. We don't never miss a beat.